welcome everyone to the 50,000 subscribers special on the Disney Docket channel. I want to take these opening moments to thank everyone, each and every one of you, regardless of whether you've been a subscriber from day one, way back in 2012, or you just subscribed last week. I owe all of you an unpayable debt for getting us to this achievement. I never would have imagined that I would reach 50,000 subscribers way back when I started the channel on December 28th of 2012. Let that just sink in for a second. I've been doing YouTube for seven and a quarter years and I've enjoyed every single minute of it. It has just been such a bright spot of my life. And there's been a lot of ups and downs during this period. Of course, these were my teenage years. You know, I pretty much did YouTube for the entirety of my teenage years. And, you know, in a couple months in December, I will not be a teenager anymore. I will turn 20. And this has just been, you know, a phenomenal part of my life. And I want to thank you guys for being there for me through thick and thin. When I had a bad day at school, I could come on YouTube, upload a video, or if I wasn't uploading, I could just look in the comments and read your guys' genuine and just heartfelt messages. You know, obviously there are some not so nice messages in the comments, but 99.9% .9 is just the most wonderful content messages I could ask for. Everybody saying great video, nice video, Thank you for brightening my day. No, thank you for brightening my day. So I just want to take this time again to really emphasize how grateful I am. And I also want to emphasize that it's an achievement for all of us in the cars community here that there are 50,000 people that find my content, which is all cars for the most part, worthy to be in their subscription feed. And that's saying a lot. That's awesome for the cars community. That's a lot of people that love cars, or at least I would assume that's why you subscribe to me. So thank you guys. And let's continue to stay strong. We're going to have a phenomenal rest of 2020, whether it be in quarantine or not. We're going to get through it together. And you guys, Thank you just for everything. And, you know, you guys say thank you for uploading this video. No, let me thank you for taking the time to watch it and leaving such a heartfelt message on my response or on my channel. You know, a lot of YouTubers, they don't respond to comments, which I just don't understand. That is so rude to me. People are giving you so many nice compliments and you can't take the time to respond to at least one of them. So I make it a point of mine to respond to 95% of my comments, especially the ones that say something nice or asking, you know, a genuine question. I can't respond to everybody. I mean, I received too many comments. I'd be, you know, literally replying to comments all day long, but thank you guys for that. And I will continue to respond to comments regardless of how many I ever receive. If I receive a million comments, I'm responding to all the nice ones without a doubt at all so i don't want to repeat myself but truly guys you are the best and we made it here the cars community as a whole has made it here and this is just a tremendous achievement and maybe maybe one day this puts it in the perspective for me maybe one day a thousand subscribers one hundred thousand subscribers my bad would be achievable but I'm grateful with 50,000. I don't even do it for subscribers. I just do it to have you know a great time and indulge my passion and share my collection with you guys. So today, as you can see, I brought out some of my favorite pieces in my collection, or at least you know some ones I find interesting and you might find interesting as well, like my retread trailer, which is probably my rarest piece. I love Big Al, I love Brian. Of course, I have some Piston Cup racers out here too and some customs and all the good stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for everything. I want to do more 50,000 subscriber videos and just talk, you know, and really thank some individuals as well who, you know, got me to where we are today. And so we'll talk about that in the future. But before we get into the special of today, there are a couple announcements I want to make. Of course, this video is a room tour, an updated room tour from the one I did in a live stream several years ago. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Some of you may have already skipped ahead and that's cool too. But I do have some announcements. First of all, a lot of people thought this video was going to be a face reveal. And I did mention one day maybe that 
you know, if I hit 50,000, maybe the special would be a face reveal. And then sometimes I said, well, maybe, you know, I don't know, down the road, if I ever hit 100,000, I will do a face reveal. I never said anything, you know, definitely. So some people may have gotten the wrong idea and thought there would for sure be a face reveal, you know, for the special for 50,000. And I'm sorry, that's just not the case. I'm not ready for it yet just because of privacy and security. And I hope you guys can respect and understand that, especially in this crazy world we live in. But I do want to take this video as well to contradict that and actually confirm that I will be doing a face reveal in the near, near future. It won't be, you know, for 75,000, it won't be for 100,000. It'll be before that. I will do a face reveal before that, unless I hit some crazy growth rate and I hit that like in a few months. But I intend to do a face reveal very soon, relatively on my channel. So just to ease everybody, I will be doing a face reveal soon. I just need some more time to figure some things out, figure out how I want to do it, and then we'll be good to go. So I hope you guys can understand and respect that. I appreciate it. I'm sorry if I gave anybody the wrong idea by you know letting them think that there would be a reveal in this video. On to some of the more announcement type things. Well, I guess that was a pretty big announcement, me announcing that I will be doing a face reveal, but just some small changes on my channel here. First of all, I made some just changes to my outro. Very small tweaks, but I did change it a little bit. Uh, I also am looking to get some new music to put in the backgrounds of my videos, so look forward to that. A change that is a little bit more applicable to you guys is that all of my videos for the foreseeable future will be uploaded at around 5 p.m. EST, Eastern Time. So 4 Central, 3 Mountain, and 2 in Pacific Time Zone. And then, I don't know, Europe or whatever, you guys can figure that out. But I just feel like this is the best time to upload. And I may change it. I might change my scheduled days to Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Or I might leave it right right is right now which is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday which I think is a pretty good schedule but for some reason the Saturday videos just don't really do well like I don't understand why but Thursday seems to be a really good day so we're gonna stick with that and you know happy Thursday by the way and last but not least before we get into the room tour I have my entire video schedule here by my side and I want to you know give you guys some things to look forward to on my channel for the coming months here while some of us, maybe not all of us, are in quarantine. So this Sunday, we got Claude Scruggs. Pretty basic review. I want to compare him to the Chinese version because this new Thailand variant is very different. On Sunday, I intend to do a very special video. I don't know what it'll be just yet. It could be a custom review or it could be a little next-gen animation type video. And then next week, we're going to have an unboxing of the new Mud Racers. So that's Bobby Road Test, the Phil Tanks, and Ponchi Wipeout and Chip Gearings. And I intend next Thursday to have the first episode of Throwback Thursday in a long, long time. And it will feature Raised Damage Mood Spring. So very exciting for that video. I'm looking forward to it. And then we got some other cool videos in here. Another custom video. I want to review my canceled Cargoyle. I also will be reviewing my canceled Nick Lupin Lopez in the future Cancelled Car Tuesday video. I will be reviewing a Damage Doc Hudson Custom as well because I know a lot of you guys like the Damage stuff, so we'll be doing that. Just got some more basic new cars to review like Rocket Racing Paul Conrev and Camp Spinner, Josh Coolant, another episode of Throwback Thursday. I will be live streaming on Sunday, May 24th. That is the plan right now at about 1 p.m. I intend to still do that one at midday, or maybe actually I might change that to later. We'll see what happens. It depends on if I'm working or not. Then we got some more custom videos in here, you know, some next-gen haulers, some regular stock car haulers, some next-gen customs, a lot of cool customs from all sorts of people. Then we got some other interesting videos in here for the car's 14th anniversary. And I won't quite reveal what I'll be doing just yet for it, but it'll be something very, very special. And I think you guys will enjoy it. We got a new Piston Cup Teams episode, which I think you guys voted for No Cell. So that'll be the next episode. And I don't know when these 
two videos will come out. I want to do them pretty soon, but a Cars 4 speculation video or just the Cars series speculation video. There has been some news lately and I want to share that with you guys. And the non-Cars related video would be some Marvel speculation on the upcoming show Falcon and the Winter Soldier and why I personally believe that they're going to try so hard to get this out as soon as possible because of the fact that so many people are subscribing to Disney Plus, but there's not much original content on there. And Falcon and the Winter Soldier is, you know, a ginormous show that a ton of people will enjoy. And if you guys don't know, the Winter Soldier is my favorite character from the Marvel movies. So that's been 10 minutes of me rant about announcements and thank yous. Still though, very important stuff. And I hope you guys listen through it. But now it's room tour time. So I want to show you guys my two rooms, one of which is my studio, which is where I record right here, and the other one is where I sleep, both of which have about 50-50 parts in my collection, and I want to show you guys both of them. And I want to start here though first because of the fact that it's where you guys know, and I think it would be perfect to put everything into perspective, and you know, just comparatively, like this is here, and then my other stuff's over here, and you guys get the bigger picture. So we're going to start. And I want to give you guys a raw look at what it looks like in my room on a given day. So that means I didn't clean up as much as, you know, I would if I was having a show or like some sort of museum type thing. So I have some case G cars still laying around that I haven't put in their boxes yet. I have some scores that I recently got online. Got these Hirokis on Amazon for only $10 each. Got this Lewis Hamilton with the collector card finally that I will be unboxing in a live stream on May 24th. So I got my Precision Series sets. So under the table that I record, I have quite a few collectible type things. A nice little display here of some stuff. So some pops, a bunch of Cars Land stuff, you know, the oil cans there. There's the very, very rare Flows V8 Cafe. Lots of Disney store stuff, some mini racers. So now if we move over here to where you guys see behind the table now, you will see my old recording spot. So I used to sit like in a desk right here and I would record right here, but it wasn't enough space for me. And so I moved back to the new table. And so because you guys can see this, it just looks better if I put some cars up and some stuff in the background to you know make the background look nice. So I put some Case G cars up. I always tend to have these mini racers here. I always have this Mac here, which is a canceled prototype Mac. I got this Easy Idle launcher recently for only $12.50. So he's chilling back here for the time being. Now, if you guys notice in my videos, I always have this little door open because if I have it closed, it creates a nasty reflection that then just doesn't look good you know, on the other side of the table back there. So this is something recent I actually did. I put both Mater the Greater and Rescue Squad Mater cars in one cubby. Looks a little crammed in there, but it was for the best because I need this space for, well, temporarily I have these guys in here, but eventually I'm going to put some other stuff in here. But yeah, those guys are in there right now. Up in this spot, which you can't see from the outside, is just a bunch of extra package stuff. You can see I have most of my Jada stuff in there. So there's Jada Mac, Rusty's Racing Sarah McQueen, Jackson Storm, some Crazy 8 Crashers. Up here, which you guys also can't see on camera from the table because it's too high. A couple more cubbies where I have some plain stuff. I also recently rearranged this so it looks different from when I did my collection video a couple years ago. This also, you can't see on camera, but it's like my other precision series or town type of alley or row, I guess you could say. And I put Monster Truck Mater and Unidentified Flying Mater stuff up here and the random Bessie. Got a Thailand Flow back there. I just put her up when I unboxed Nikki B. Got the original Cars poster back here that I got way back in 2006. Moving over to the left column here, I have a cubby full of prototypes. So you can see back there a Mac prototype, bunch of Outback Miles, red, 
a ton of Mathers. And down here, we got some more just normal cars, some Deluxes, got my Easter cars here. So then this is the left equivalent of what you guys saw over there. I got all my Tokyo Mather stuff in here. That's been there for a while. And I got all my mini racers in here, but this is getting really, really crammed. As you can see, there's barely any openings. And up here, I got more package stuff. I don't even remember getting half this stuff. Like, I guess I have tar two of these Sarge's boot camps. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah. Danico Showgirls. I got some other stuff in there that we'll go through in a future video. This drawer doesn't have car stuff. It's just got some paperwork here, though. This has got all sorts of packaged cars. Just multi-packs and a Muir. And another Bessie. I've got so many loose Bessies. See what we got in here. I think these are Tom Talk. Nope, that one's not. I think these ones are, yeah. There's a Tom Talk. The other one's probably Tom Talk 2. Got some planes packs up there. This is the pack with Uncle Topolino with tires. And looks like we have some Radio Springs Classic stuff. This is when they were on clearance, so I got some extras. Not really ones I didn't need, but. I wanted them because they were cheap. Birthday five pack. Got this for the exclusive tires. I know. Keep it in the package though. Package time travel mater sets back there as well, which I know is pretty rare. So we'll close that up. Then down here in the cubbies, got all my Disney store stuff and some mini racers prototypes. more Disney store stuff over here as well and some expanded universe and cartoon stuff in here Halloween customs so yeah that's that I will be doing an updated collection video soon relatively so I don't want to show too much but you know I still want to show you guys my room and all that so just some other scores that I have back here that I need to put away hanging stuff. So now we are on the other side of my table. You know, as you can see, here is the back side of the buildings. And I have a little shelving unit down here that I got some random stuff. Got my turntable, which I don't really use anymore. Got this little extra mini racers and Luigi type thing. This I use in some of my thumbnails to prop cars up in the background. I have a ton of packaged Disney store stuff over here, which you know, we'll be saved for my collection video, but you guys can get a preview of it. It's pretty much all the new stuff. Got some multi-packs here. I know I have an extra Aaron Clocker pack deep buried in there somewhere. This is the Mini Racers Advent Calendar box I saved. The Disney Store Tony Trihull. And we'll get to that stuff now in a second. I have a little pedal car right here from my childhood. Stepping over here, that is the Mud Racer case that I intend to unbox in a couple days. And here we have some more Disney Store stuff that I actually have on display. I'm keeping in the package. And some books, Hot Wheels, but mainly cars. You know, you can see all the Arts of Cars books over there and the Meet the Cars books. So giving you guys, you know, a full look over here. There's the table. There's my video schedule. All the stuff. There's... Another cabinet, which has a lot of my Piston Cup teams and factory customs. Convoy Brothers at the bottom. You like that? And there's what I just showed you guys. All right. So what I'm sitting on right here is my little glass display case with the Motor Speedway of the South in it. Although those are all regular releases and that's a custom Apple. I have the real ones packaged away in there because I don't want them to get sun damaged or anything like that. I have some other neat stuff in here like that Barney Storm and Prototype that I showed in my last live stream. A packaged Brian Parks Motors. That Disney Store exclusive McQueen. Bumper Safe Team. Just some other neat stuff. 
Got some Hot Wheels IDs. Got this stoplight thing, which I actually showed in the video. I did a whole video about this. So you can see that it lights up there. And then those light up too. Too many wires though. Gets a little messy for me. But yeah, a lot of neat stuff in this little display. All right, so we're gonna venture into the closet here, or the elf room as I like to call it. So this was, like I said earlier, not the cleanest place in the world, but I wanna give you guys a raw look at what my rooms look like here. So first of all, all my card backs and name tags that I've accumulated lately from the stuff I've opened. Seems like a lot of stuff, but it's only like a month's worth of stuff that I've opened. You know, the mini racers unboxing, I did videos on all this so you guys know. I tore off the revolting decals for my hauler because I'm sending it to Jim Scavenger to remake. And that's that. This is the Convoy Brothers box. Got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Pops down there. This is my, I think this is Precision Series Fillmore and this is Precision Series Sarge. This is what I use in a lot of my thumbnails for the Pissing Cup teams, and then I got a mud background for Demolition Derby stuff. There's Sphero McQueen. Jay the stuff again. I will do a video on Sphero McQueen one day. Over here we got some factory customs and a jammer. And we got just some extras. Those are some quite valuable extras though, Disney Docket. Tomika Hall, this is literally the source of the Tomika Hall. And just some random Andy Gearsdales and a lenticular, oops, finish line Lightning McQueen, which I really like. Sorry, Guido. And here I just have extra planes and some extra cars, which I won't go through entirely, but you guys can see, what is that in there? Ned, or is that Zed? I think it's Zed. Got a bunch of extra stuff in here. Go Bears, right? Extra mini racers. Accessories. Look at all those toolboxes in there. Isn't that awesome? This is all of my Speedway of the South stuff. So the real Apple is in there. He's on top, I believe. And there's the Certificate of Authenticity. A little windmill. Bunch of jammers full of extra cars that I don't really need, but I've gotten through multi-packs. On the right side, going back here, we got a bunch of extra package stuff, a whole McDonald's display from 2006. About 45 Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornets from the San Diego Comic-Con. Nice little Tuesday morning find of Riker there. A little poster I won when Cars 3 came out. I got a whole bunch of tubs here that these are cracked. I want to return these, but I haven't been able to go to the stores because of quarantine. So they have been here. There is my second Motor Speedway of the South set with the cars still up there. I need to do something with that, but I don't have space to display two on the outside. Got some artwork here from Disney World, which I love. Those are all deluxes back there. So I have all my packaged Morgan Martins and Bessies back there. And then here's also more deluxe. Got some Stu Scatter Shields in there. That thing has all the name tags in it. So that's where the ones that you saw on the outside there with the card backs will go. And I have card bags in some of those, actually all of those single boxes down there. Then the rest are deluxe. So then we turn the bend here and we have all of my package stuff for the most part. It's labeled 2020. So this is where the case G stuff will go. And then you could just see here, all this is filled with stuff. I can look at the labels here. This is XRS Demo Derby. This is Road Trip and Launchers. And then 2020, 2020, and 2020. Two packs over there and just a lot of stuff. There's an extra Precision Series Sally back there. 
There's all sorts of stuff back there. My haulers and a lot of stuff that I can't really get to right now without extraneous effort. So we're going to back on out, back it up, back it up, back it up. Give you guys a nice little look, see here and some of the stuff. Look, I got most of this stuff on clearance for really good prices. This is an original Ramones Haas of body art, fully packaged. Got my trading cars back there, cards. Back it up. Look at that nice little $10 TJ Maxx Zeta Fillmore. A random broken rescue squad mater. Easter McQueen. A little big Al back there, a little big. <laughs> all right, so that is all for the studio here. Give you guys a full look at it. We're going to go into my sleeping room now. All right, so welcome to my room. We're going to start with all the car stuff first and then kind of wane my way over to the bed. So here is my original dresser from many, many years ago, almost 20 years ago. Actually, it probably is 20 years old by now. So I keep package haulers here. And again, I don't wanna make this feel like a collection video because I'm narrating it and all this stuff, but you will see this again in more detail in that video. But for now, just get a nice little look-see at some of the cars I have on it. So this is here, the wall of shame, which I've actually talked about before in my videos. It's where all of the cars with bad packages go. Unfortunately, I've run out of room, so I'm going to have to find a new wall of shame, but we'll take Shreerum here, for example, who very much so disappoints in me with his cracked blister there. But that's not even the worst of them, especially when you get down here. And just a lot of duplicates. I mean, you could just see Lightning McQueen after Lightning McQueen. And I do donate some of these and give them away, but there's still a lot left up there i do want to open both of those up chick hicks and james clean air and so that's why they are up there got some deluxes up here that again you know i don't really care about because their packages are damaged like frank's there we got some mini racers the yacht which i just showed in my seth and kathy video another big al this is kind of the new wall of shame but i can only hold eight there so Still gonna have to work on that. These are factory custom haulers. These are the real haulers, Disney store. Here we go with my prototype case. Again, this is entirely new. You guys have never seen this before. And over there is my factory custom case and some more prototypes along with regular customs. And you will see this in my collection video. And then there is my tri-pitch poster for Cars 2, which I absolutely love. And there's my bed, which is not made because who makes their bed? Not me. I'm sorry. Maybe you guys make your bed. I don't make my bed. Ain't got time for that. So up top there, we have some deluxes because they always like to reside on the top of these cases because they don't fit inside. So that first one there is Spies and World Grand Prix. Then we have World Grand Prix and Rusty's fans as well from Cars 1. Then we have Rusty or Cars 1 and Cars 2 fans along with the Legends, which lead into the Tractors, and then XRS stuff down there, along with Thomasville. We got Banshee, Cabby, Everett. This is a little matchbox display I have, very old. And ironically, it won't turn that way because Everett's in the way. Ironically, I have Hot Wheels in here because I don't really have that many matchbox. But I have a ton of Hot Wheels in here, and I don't have any fantasy models in here. Or at least not really. It's hard to explain. And this thing's bad at turning because it's old. But these are all of like my red lines or just the old Hot Wheels. Because I think they look good in here. And I like them. But in here, there's some new ones intermixed in there. So yeah, we'll save that for another video, of course. This is my like gas pump. I say gas pump because it's actually like a gas pump up against my window. And I got some piston cut racers in there, some more team stuff, cars, tunes, canceled cars and prototypes, my Disney docket car, and some more stuff there at the bottom. A lot of random stuff, like just randomly because I don't have space 
there. I put the Fireball Beach cars there. Chip Gearing's launcher, which is canceled. Seth Freewheel canceled. I have another Seth over there. Original canceled Dan Sklarkenberg. Some more STCC stuff in there. Got my blinds. It's pouring outside. It's raining cats and dogs. Here we got more Carney display cases. By the way, I get these from Carney Plastics. I get tons of questions about where I get my cases. They come from Carney Plastics. So this is all Lightning Queens and Mathers. More Mathers, Sally, Cruz Ramirez, Luigi Guido, Search for more Ramon, Flo, Doc Hudson, blah, 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 blah. And we get into less main characters. And there's the bottom there. And here I just have some antiques, old gas pumps, some old car parts, trophy. Let's not talk about what those other items are. No, no face reveal yet. No, no, no. No, no, not yet. And here, got more package stuff, which is my like closet. This was supposed to be a return. I don't need red, but you can't go to the store. Some extra play sets. All my clothes, which you don't really need to see. And yeah, this is a lot of old stuff in the package. So, sunglasses, table here. So this is kind of just, again, a raw look, so nothing's perfect. I have this MCU print with all the characters. I'm trying to flatten it out so it doesn't curl with this little picture plaque right here that I actually took from my college in Notre Dame. That's the picture I took. Underneath the table, some books, some Jada stuff, nothing too exciting. And now we find our way under the bed because I do have a loft bed if you hadn't already put that together. So here I just have a couple shelves with Got Frank's custom building. So this is Mater's junkyard. And then down there are Fillmore's and Sarge's along with a little artistic Disneyland tractor. And here we go, we just got some art stuff from Disneyland and just some of the stuff I've accumulated throughout the years. Cars lamp. Some cars stuff in general here. This is from Star Wars Land. That's a little tiki room thing. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. But that pretty much is it, except for this bad boy here. So I got a ton of package stuff in here. These are all airs for the most part. No eyes airs, which I will go through in the future. But for now, I just want to give you an overview. You can see these guys don't have any eyes. He doesn't have side view mirrors. Most of my canceled planes are in here. Pretty much all of them are not canceled. My card the planes, what am I talking about? But yeah, that is it for the room tour, actually, to give you guys an overview. There is everything. I love living here. It's awesome having to you know be surrounded by so many cars, things that I just love. So that is the conclusion of today's touring of Disney Dockett's room. Kind of feel like a museum tour guide or something like that. But truly, it's just, you know, where I live and all that stuff. So that's why it's not perfect. I am pretty neat and organized, though. But just have so many cars coming in and out that I don't always have time to clean up. Because there's just so much always coming in and stuff for me to do videos on. But yeah, thank you guys so much again for 50,000 subscribers. I can't say it enough. And thank you for watching this long video on my room tour. I appreciate it. And also, again, just want to stress that I will do a face reveal eventually. And that eventually is soon. Like, I won't do it, let's say, in 2021. Like, it will be this year. I promise you guys that. I just need a little bit more time to figure some things out. Now, on a sadder note... I'm recording this Wednesday when it's coming out on Thursday and I actually lost my dog yesterday, Tuesday, my beloved dog, Sammy. He was, you know, just the best dog ever. And he has been with me for a long, long time since 2006. He's just as old as the Cars franchise. So he's been here, you know, with me collecting cars all of this time and with my YouTube channel the entire time. And it's so, so devastating that, 
you know, he had to go last night. So just wanted to put that in this video to make it a tribute to him because he means the world to me. And, you know, I want to document this part of my life here and just kind of the end of a chapter for me. So thank you guys again for watching. And I appreciate, you know, all the support you guys have given me. So I'll see you on Saturday for another video. Bye now.